Hey guys, I'm back with a tw 20 subscriber special. Um, thank you guys. I'm really happy about this. And yeah, so today I made a 4x4 door for you. It is 450 blocks, I believe. It's 10 high. No, it's 15 high and 10 long. Yeah, um, I can't do it on the server, sadly, because I am really lagging right now. I'm not stupid. But yeah, it did work. The one sad thing is it's coordinate dependent. If you guys want different videos than this one, I will give you a different video, because I have lots of main video on, like this hipster door I have right here. And I have a tileable 3 by 3 that I will be doing uploads on later. If you guys want to go on and see what I have, this is where I'm on, empty attic gallery. The IP is www.red-blocks.com. I'll put the IP in the description anyways if you didn't hear that. So yeah, here's the door. I'm sorry I'm so laggy. I'll try going in my single player. Yes, this is a coordinate dependent. I'm going to be trying to do that, see what I'm going to do. But it's only the top part. The bottom part, you can put whatever you want, and it'll work completely fine. I'm going to go to the single player right here. You'll see that this door right here. So I'm hoping it's completely fine, but when it comes to being these last two blocks, it won't work. I believe it's because it only works in the F1 and F3. Because if I go on server right now, where is it? There it is. Um, and they look at this door. I believe it is an F1 and F3. Huh. Yeah, I guess it's coordinate dependent. That's pretty dumb. Okay, alright. And um, I will be putting a 3 by 3 update in here. Here is my 3 by 3, new 3 by 3. I didn't feel like I needed to do another video on it. But here's a new one. Just look it over. And rebuild it. 117 blocks. Pretty happy about that. But yeah. I'm going to my single player to do a tutorial. Whoa. Like a. Um, Alright, let's start off by doing it over here. Zoom away. Now we're, now we're, let's make the piston layout first. To do that, we're going to make the piston that we're going to use for a double piston extender. And we're going to put our block storage in. Next. We're gonna do is make our closing sequence down here. The way I do that is I use a few 3 by 3 closing circuits. This will also retract the first block. I thought this would be easy and I used it and it turned out to work really nice. So this is a close it. I'll be making a new 3 by 3 soon. Uh, extenders will be coming from the side also. I was pretty close to doing it, but it did not work out that way. Got copy. You just got to basically copy it on each side. Before you do this one, I suggest marking a block. It'll pull that back. And yeah. Now let's make connect these both two together. You see that it closes those two. Now I need to run a redstone line right here. And yes, that is total closing. Now, in order to get the double extender up here working, what I do is this. This is a ordinary double extender. Uh, it's very wacky though. If you if you um, give it an update, it will basically break. Let's see it like I did. This goes like that. But as you can see, this lever is powering stuff. As you see, that updated the piston. Yeah, this red level is powering this block, which is powering this piston. I don't understand this yet, but I will be seeing what if I can find an exclamation for it. Let's get on to the double extender. Now, what we're doing is just connecting these both together and inverting it. One, two, three. Now block up. And now connect this right to torch to that repeater. As you can see, it's all derpy like that. In order to fix that, just take a lever or a button and flick it. Fan, fan, fan. 
now all we have to do is add two small d delays that will be going into this line to make the double extender work. And the way I do that is I have a bunch of repeaters go right through here into a block. And all these will be, and I believe, a three tick pulse. I'm going to update that before you do anything else. A one tick repeater here. Another piston mile stable. And a repeat, in a, um, I believe a repeater on four. And this should work. In order to fix that, just place a lever here again. Should fix it. Yes, there you go. I believe you can actually put this on a three. Let's check, let's check that right now. Nope. Let's put that back. In order to fix this, you wanna do exactly what we did before. Do that. Put a whole bomb. Okay. Alright, now we wanna put the torch there. Block. Torch, block, torch. Let's copy this on the other side. Place some pistons down here. And now, this will be most of your door. Now, if we gotta do, now we gotta do is doing the bottom closing and retraction. And how I did that was I took a signal from this block right here, put it into a torch and brought the signal over here. Then, I had to go into a block that had to rid some dust, and we used another 3 by 3 opening and closing circuit. For this, right here, you, I believe you can use furnaces, but I prefer obsidian. I'm not sure if power can go through obs ob furnaces yet. So, I will be looking into that. Let's push the blocks in. It doesn't look right. Is it right? Yes, it is right. I believe. Hopefully. Um. So, yeah. Just copy it on the other side. This will be almost completely symmetrical. So, I should note that. going too fast in this tutorial, just tell me down in the comments and I'll slow down in the next video. As you can see that but that butted this piston and that yeah. Put your blocks here. Now you can see these pistons aren't pulling these back. In order to fix that, I took a 4 tick repeater, put it right here, right smack dab behind this obsidian, pull a block, and put a redstone. And that fixed it all for me. Copy this on the other side, and you should be good about that. Bam, bam, and let's go. Now all we have to do is power this double extender. The way I did that was by putting a redstone dust in there, a block, Peter, another piston mile stable, block, Peter, and another block in redstone. That redstone goes all the way over here. Goes into a Peter on two. And go all the way up here. Now we want to take a signal, take that signal off. Place you just piston mouse stable. You don't need this piston mouse stable here. I don't believe. I will test it out at the end of the video if you don't want if you are running out of pistons. Like I said, this is coordinate orientated. So if there's any problems with you, if it's on a server or anything, I will come on and see if I can do anything to fix it. Oh, I can't do that. Alright, um, you know what? Play, 
two blocks and some redstone dust, and that should be your whole door. Whoa. Okay, that especially shouldn't have happened. Oh. Let me check. I believe that has to be around four ticks. Let's just go check, check that to make double, to double check. Yes, four ticks. Okay. My bad. Ah. So I'm putting my frame in. And that should be mostly your whole door. As long as I've done before. Okay. Um. Yeah. I uh, see. It's just weird. All weird like that. It makes no sense and it makes me mad. And I can't really fix it, which is a problem. So yes, if it doesn't work and you have it on a server, I will see if I can figure it out. If not, I will do whatever I can, see if I can get a, a fix for this. If not, sorry about that, guys. Alright, so thank you guys for 20 subscribers once again. Rate, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.